Okay, so uh, part of uh, when you're on holiday is one of your team accidentally has an accident and you end up um, having a slip, trip or fall into the water. That's what we call man overboard. Um, the person at the front of the boat will be at the helm. They might have some music on and they might be completely unaware of what's happening at the rear of the boat. Um, so we need whoever members of your party to constantly keep doing a head count and if the worst should happen, someone does fall in uh, on the water, we need someone to shout out loudly, man overboard, and just keep your arm out and keeping your, uh, where you can see the person has fallen in, hopefully wearing a life jacket that will stand out. It's not like flat calm waters like today. It might be a bit more out at Braden or at Great Yarmouth where there's waves and a bit more choppy. So sometimes you'll see the head the next minute they'll be disappeared. So that's why it's important to always keep pointing in the direction of where the person was last seen and that the person at the helm can then be moving the boat around. So what we do want is the engines and the propellers away from the person in the water. So by having the person at the helm to come round in a circle, we'll hopefully come alongside that person and just hold them onto a fender or the side of the boat so we can get them near land for a place of safety. Don't worry, they're going to be heavy wearing wet clothing. Don't try and bring them back on the side of the boat. You want to be able to uh, bring them alongside and then get them to a nice key heading where you can hopefully have other people. If it's particularly if they've caused an injury, if they've banged their head, that they're semi-conscious, what we do need is for somebody to be phoning 999, asking for the Coast Guard, Again, remember where you are on the broads, what river you're on, what village you've just left or where you're heading to. If you've got the away app with what three words built in, press that button, give the operator those three words so we know exactly where we can get resources to come along and help. But the man overboard technique is something that everyone should just talk about before your holiday. And we hope it never happens, but at least you'll be prepared if it does. Also make yourself aware of where the life ring is on your boat so that if you do go in, you know where it is, locate it to throw it to that person. As we said before, don't aim it at them, just throw it into the water as close as you can so they can take hold of it and help them by pulling them back towards the boat. I'm probably just showing the life ring. So these are buoyancy aids which will assist them. So you, they're quite heavy, but they're designed in that way so that they can stay floating on the surface of the water. So don't aim it at the person's head and knock them out. You want to aim it to look at the tide, which way it's flowing so that it will actually drift and flow towards that person. So at least they've got something to hang on to until help arrives.